हेलो एवरी वन एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू ऑनलाइन स्टडी फॉर यू ए कंप्लीट प्लेसमेंट सॉल्यूशन दिस इज प्रतीक श्रीवास्तव अयर फाउंडर ऑफ ऑनलाइन स्टडी फॉर यू फ्रेंड्स टीसीएस एग्जाम इज शेड्यूल्ड ऑन थर्ड फोर्थ फिफ्थ एंड सिक्स ऑफ अक्टूबर इन मेनी ऑफ द कॉलेजेस दिस इज फेज वन हायरिंग ऑफ टीसीएस नाउ इफ यू आर गोइंग टू राइट द एग्जाम देन इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द एग्जैक्ट पैटर्न विच एपियर इन TCS NQT 2024 and I suggest you please don't watch the video if you are expecting simple simple question I am not going to teach that so whatever the exact pattern of TCS is there that only I will be teaching you right so for simple question for the views we don't do it right okay now so the important topic from aptitude is here. and in this particular video we are also going to provide you the coding question so the coding cheat sheet right so that we is also going to help you a lot so simplification percentage profit and loss simple compound interest quadratic equation average data interpretation time and work time speed and distance statistics mensuration so these are very important topic from aptitude okay fine now friends so as we will start solving the problem right because in tcs nqt 2024 there were questions of right so there were questions of compound interest for 5 years and here if you'll see we have taken compound interest problem for 6 years so basically you need to now understand that what level of the questions might get asked in the examination and accordingly you need to prepare now let us start with question number 1 here so first try to solve it by yourself and then only you watch the solution so the question number 1 here the cost of filling a gas tank at a shop is rupees 800 if the shopkeeper reduces the price by 15% the number of his customer increases by 30% by what percent did his revenue decreases or increases so friends it is very very clear in this particular question that options are given in terms of percentage so we can write assume any value and we will be able to solve it now let us see how so the cost of filling a gas is so the cost of filling a gas is given as 800 okay fine and here what i am going to assume so i am going to assume right so the customer is nothing but the customer is nothing but 10 okay fine now what they are telling the shopkeeper reduces the price by 15% that means now you have to pay only 85% of that price okay so here the price will become how much now so 85s are 40 and 88 ja 64 plus 4 is 680 right so the cost is now 680 customers i have assumed here 10 sir why did you assume 10 sir what is your problem whatever and however you want to assume you assume and we get confused very simple my dear friends your options is given in terms of percentage then you can assume any value see you can assume x here whenever you take x in mathematics or x in real life always keep that in mind it will only create problems right okay now so customer i have assume 10 if you want to assume 15 20 30 40 whatever you want you assume now the customer is increased by 30% so earlier basically the total revenue was nothing but 8000 now the customer is increased by 30% so 30% of 10 will be what 30% of 10 will be nothing but 3 so basically it will become 13 rupees so now the price is 680 right and customer has become 13 so what will be the total value So sixty-eight into thirteen, right? Okay. So you can also do thirteen into seven will be nine hundred and ten, and then thirteen twos are twenty-six, right? So some calculation techniques you will have to learn. So ten minus six is four. Ten minus two is eight eight. So eight eighty-four. So here it will become eight eight four zero. Some calculation techniques you will have to learn. But anyway, TCS will be having calculator. So please don't do calculation by writing, multiplying. Don't waste your time. Okay. So earlier it was eight thousand. total revenue now the revenue generated is 8840 so basically 840 rupees is the profit okay on what value see if 8000 was not there we could not have calculated 
profit or loss right so 840 is the profit and what is the base value from where it has increased from 8000 see no need to get confused my dear friends if this 8000 is not there i if this 8000 is not there can you calculate profit or loss no if this value is not there you will not even come to know that there is a profit or loss so it's very simple which value you should take sir you should say take 8000 so you don't get confused in the exam i should take this or i should take this from where the profit is there that value you take simple 0 and 0 is cancelled, 2020 cancel, 8 10 ja, 80 and 8 5 ja, 40. 10.5% will be the correct answer. Sir, you beginning you said that the questions will be very, very tough. Don't watch the video, right? Don't watch the video if you are looking for simple problem. This is simple problem only, right? So friends, two things I wanted to tell you. So this problem was of medium level, okay? This problem was of medium level, okay? So because I told you how to solve it, so you might be feeling it is easy. Second thing is, slowly, slowly the level of the problem will increase, right? Because in TCS, there will be some problem which will be easy and some problem will be quite time taking, quite consuming. So basically there, time matters a lot, right? Okay now so it will consume lot of time okay so that much calculative it will be but anyway you will be having calculator so you do not have to worry now question number two question number two is from the topic partnership from topic partnership right so partner okay partnership okay fine no problem so here if you try to read right so aman barun and charu so aman and Barun and Charu. Aman, Barun and Charu enter into a partnership with an investment of 40,000 rupees. So Aman is rich. Okay, 40,000 investing. And is B. B is still trapped in X. Okay, so B is gone. Now B, X and, uh, okay. So B rupees X and Charu is 1 lakh. Charu is more rich. Okay, 1,000, 10,000, 1 lakh. No problem. Now, what they're telling at the end of the year, okay? At the end of the year, that means till one year, there is no change. So till one year, there is no change. Till one year, this is the investment. This is the investment. See, I will tell you basically what happens. Your investment into time, right? Your investment into time will be nothing but your profit ratio. So this is a concept which you have to keep that in mind. It's very simple. Now, if you invest 1 lakh for one year and if somebody invests 2 lakhs for one year, who will get more profit? This guy, right? So your investment into time, investment into time will be nothing but your profit ratio. So this is one. See, I will never ask you to remember anything. Okay. So see, few things like one or two formulas you can remember, but most of the things you need to understand investment into time, right? So you are investing 1 lakh rupees for one year somebody is investing five lakhs rupees for one year so definitely who will be getting more profit who is investing more it's very simple right on the same principle we have to solve so all this invested for one year then they are telling at the end of the year varun withdraws rupees withdrew rupees thousand okay so at the end of the one year what is happening varun x rupees was earlier invested now he is going to he is going to take 1000 rupees off from it. Okay. And again, for one year, he will invest. Aman added 40,000 rupees. So Aman earlier had 40,000. Now after one year, he is going to invest 40,000 more. So it will be 80,000 for another 12 months. Okay. Then, and they are telling that Charu, there is no change in the investment, right? Charu, there is no change in the investment. So this investment will become for, for how many? So again, the same 1 lakh rupees will be, same 1 lakh rupees will be invested for another 12 months, right? Okay. So basically 1 lakh rupees he invested for 24 months, right? So Barun withdraw rupees 10,000, Aman added rupees 40,000, the ratio of their profit after two years. So that is the reason we have taken 12, 12. One year, one year, one year, one year, one year, one year. So the ratio of the profit is nothing but 6 is to 3 is to 10. Anyway, we are not worried about this. We have to find out the initial amount invested by Barun. So these two are sufficient for me. Okay. So Aman, how much invested? So here, uh, anyway, so 40,000, I will write it once again. So 40,000 into 12 plus 
eighty thousand into twelve because the calculation you have to make it little easy and then x into twelve right and plus x minus ten thousand ten thousand into twelve and the ratio is six is to three so we are only worried about these two ratio now see twelve if you will take common then it will be cancelled from everywhere twelve you just take it common it will be cancelled right okay now what we will do forty thousand plus eighty thousand it is one lakh twenty thousand it is one lakh twenty thousand divided by x plus x 2x minus 10000 2x minus 10000 is equals to 6 by 3 6 by 3 is nothing but 2 by 1 okay 2 will divide this by 6 times so basically it is 60000 will be equal to 2x minus uh, 1 the 1 0 is more so 2x minus 10000 okay 10000 so here 2x will be equal to 2x will be equal to 70,000. So x will be equal to 35,000. 35,000. Friends, see, you might be telling, sir, you are only taking 3 to 4 minutes to solve one question in exam. What I will do? See, TCS problem, I cannot say that you, you are going to solve in one minute. And even TCS is not expecting you to solve one question in one minute. Otherwise, the cutoff will not go 6 out of 20. See, almost you are solving six questions and getting selected in TCS, right? For six questions, of, oh no, almost you are getting 25 minutes. So for one question, they are giving you four minutes. You forget about, uh, you know, four minutes. If you spend two minutes on one question, then at least you will be able to attempt 12 questions correctly, right? And all the questions will not be tough calculative it will be so this question you might have seen what you can do here so instead of 40,000 you write 40k instead of 80,000 you write 80k right k means nothing but thousand so it's your duty to make the problem simple here if I will write k then somebody will comment sir how do, how does kilo is coming in this question and again I need to explain in the comment section so I don't want to increase my effort you have to understand and then accordingly you have to solve the problem in the examination right okay all those things will be keep happening friends so if you want to crack tcs and qt examination the main thing you have to start is started giving mock test right so we have already uh, one mock test is over tomorrow we are having one more mock test here right so you might have realized the level of the question what we have put it here right so tcs and qt mock test right uh, where is it so mock test one yesterday you might have given solution was also there you might have realized the level of the tcs nqt exam and tomorrow one more mock test is going to happen so like this we have five mock test before your examination minimum five and also two more uh, mock test is there from the earlier one right and daily one videos we are uploading now in our particular course based on some top 10 question asked in tcs so friends if you don't want to regret later and if you really want to crack TCS, then trust me, friends, this is going to help you a lot. See, I, you know, you don't listen me, right? So you could see like we have given more than 50,000 uh, result till now and 5,000 plus selections we gave in TCS alone in 2024, right? So definitely something we are doing, right? See, results won't come simply that somebody joining your course and result is coming. So definitely something we are doing. We are, uh, we are having this mock test. We are providing this mock test solution. All those things we are doing it. And that is the only reason you are getting the result, right? So that you need to understand, okay? And if you understand that, then it is more than sufficient, right? So get this crash course as soon as possible. Attempt the mock test, okay? So, you know, because when I solve the question, many of you might be thinking the problems are easy or I can do it. But in exam hall, it doesn't work like that, right? Okay. Now, question number three. So question number three, till third and fourth questions are like average level after that. The real questions starts so a b c d this kind of questions also you will be getting a b c d e are five person the weight of a b and c is 90 percent 112 percent 94 percent respectively of the average weight of all five the ratio of weight of d and e is 6 is to 11 the difference between the uh okay okay so the average uh, weight okay the difference between the this and what is the average weight of all five person okay now friends so what i will do um, the average weight of all five person i will assume average weight of all five person 
आई विल एज यूम एस हंड्रेड के राइट ओके सो ए इज नथिंग बट नाइंटी परसेंट ऑफ द नाइंटी परसेंट ऑफ द राइट सो नाइंटी परसेंट ऑफ द एवरेज वेट ऑफ ऑल फाइव so a will become 90k because average weight i have assumed is 100k total average weight is 100k a is 90% 90k right okay b is 112% so 112k c is 94% so 94k right see when you are assuming 100 then it is very easy 10% is 10 20% is 20 30% is 30 40% is 40 it's very very simple right so average weight of 5 person is 100k so a b c value we have got now friends what they are telling average weight of 5 person that means a plus b plus c plus d plus e average will be sum divided by number which we have assumed as 100k right okay so a is what sir a is 90k b is what 112k and c is what 94k is equals to 100 into 5 is 500k so now if you'll add this so 2 plus 4 6 11 plus 9 is 20 uh and uh, no so 9 plus 1 is 10 and 10 plus 4 to 6 9 1 10 and 10 plus 1 is 9 is 19 and this is 2 296k will be equal to 500 right if i'm not wrong so yes and now these values are correct fine and now k will be equal to friends right okay so okay so i'm sorry uh, here d and e we have not considered so plus d plus e will be equal to 500 k right okay now d plus e will be equal to 500 k minus this will become 296 k and this will become 10 minus 6 is 4 and 9 minus 9 is 0 and 4 minus 2 is 2 so this will become d plus e will become 204k right till here you should not have any doubt what i have done so i have just put it on the so i have just put it on the what formula and that's how i have solved till now i have not done anything okay <clears throat> now they are telling the ratio of weight of d and e is d and e ratio of weight is 6 is to 11 now if you want to write down in terms of values what you can do my dear friends so you can write is 6x or 11x so basically this is 17 right so total is 17 17 is equals to 204k right see d and e so what you can do you can take a variable right or you can write like this so one will be equal to 204k divided by 17 so this will be 17 one ja 17 and 17 2 ja so this is nothing but 12 that means this will become into 12 means 72 and this will become into 12 that means 32 so we have got the value of d and e right so 1 is equals to 12k so d is 72k and e is nothing but 132k so we got the value of d and e one more thing they are telling so the difference between d and e is 75 kg so d and e the difference is 75 the value of e is 132 k and the value of d is so either you subtract like this e, e is more so definitely you will have to put like this so anyway negative sign it comes just ignore minus 72 k is equals to 75 so here it will be 60 k is 75 and k will be equal to 75 by 60 so 15 uh, 5 ja 15 4 ja it will be 1.25 we got the value of k and now they are asking so what is the average weight of all five person so it is 100 into k so 100 into 1.25 it will be nothing but 125 right okay so here the option definitely so there will be one more option 125 kg and that will be the correct answer right so 125 kg the average weight of all person will be 125 kg so friends in this particular problem what we did see this much you don't have to write please try to understand because you guys have come here right watching the video thinking that i will understand each and every step 
sorry will teach in that way right okay so for that only you are here now if i will see i could have directly assumed okay so average weight here i will take you see how i could have solved it so the average weight is nothing but i am assuming 100k okay so this will a will become 90k this will become 112k and this will become 94k average is this total will become what total will become what my dear friends 500 five people are there right okay now abc abc total it will become what 296k and plus d plus e will be nothing but 500k so d plus e will become nothing but d plus e will be 204k d and e they have given 6 is to 11 so 17 is equals to 204k so 1 will become equal to 12k right okay so d is nothing but now 6 into 12 72 and 11 into 12 132k now if you'll take the difference here the difference will be nothing but your 60k right they have given us 75 so k will be equal to 1.25 so your average will become 100 into 1.25 it will be 125 kg right okay so what is the average weight of 5 person 125 kg so you could have see you don't have to write each and everything because in exam you are not going to explain anything see the president will not give you after the exam by seeing your step take this president award for solving all the problem that won't happen so you have to solve you have to keep in your mind and that's all will become your answer right okay now friends question number four here so question number four is a easy problem the only problem is the data so friends see anyway calculator is there in the exam on a screen till now i have not used calculator okay but if you want you use it right see they are giving you take the calculator use whatever wherever you want you use right okay but friends once again i'm telling you see if you really want to crack tcs don't regret later the crash course is going to help you a lot please trust me this is the only one thing which i wanted to tell you okay now so x can work one by four okay of the work in 18 days so one by four work in 18 days so one work will be completed in 18 into 4 days that is nothing but 72 days this is about x what about y y can complete 20 percent 20 percent is 1 by 5 see 20 percent will be equal to what 20 by 100 20 by 100 will be equal to what 1 by 5 no need to write all those things man once you understand don't write it is 17 days so one work will be completed in 17 into 5 85 days right okay then z z 80 percent 80 percent is what 80 by 100 that means 4 by 5 4 by 5 of the work is completed in 72 days in 72 days so one work so one work one work will be completed in one work will be completed in 72 into 5 by 4 this will go up and 4 will come down so it is 90 days right okay now we know x completed the work in 72 days y completed the work in 85 days and z completed the work in 90 days now if the values are 2 4 6 you can easily calculate it but these values are 72 85 and 90 then definitely it is going to be hectic now let us take the lcm right so how you will take the lcm friends so lcm if you want to take please take this lcm little smartly okay see the thing is mathematics is such a subject now where you have to use your mind a little bit okay if you're not using your mind then trust me it will be a problem right see because if you want to use the calculator also how will you use the calculator right even even if you want to use the calculator see if you take lcm your calculation will be sought right otherwise otherwise what you can do is you don't use cal uh, you know mind and you go and write like this blindly okay so what will happen x so x if you divide efficiency efficiency will be 85 into 90 now this if you divide so instead of taking lcm i have taken the complete number itself now if you divide this 72 into 90 now if you divide this 72 into 85 once you take lcm that becomes your work so what is your work so sir my work is 72 into 85 into 90 and what is the efficiency who is going to do so these people are going to do so their efficiency will be 85 into 90 plus 72 into 90 and plus 72 into 85 this also if you solve you will be able to get the answer right and when you have calculated you do that okay 
and if you want to do it smartly what you can do so you can start with 236 times 285 times and 245 times right okay and then 218 uh, no not 2 it will not go then 3 312 times 85 times and 315 times okay and then 3 4 times 3 5 times and 385 times then here 5 so 4 times 17 times and 1 time so basically if you'll see 17 into 5 is 85 and 4 into uh, 3 3 is a 9 plus uh, 9 into 18 so basically it will be the lcm will be 85 into 72 so it will become like little uh, you know uh, easier for you to solve and understand as well now if we'll divide it will be 85 times so this is my efficiency that means x can do 85 work in a day 85 if we'll divide y can do 72 work in a day and z so 72 into 85 by 90 if we'll divide then what will happen so 5 18 times and 5 17 times 18 4 ja it is 68 now so the total work is 72 into 85 who is going to solve so this is b uh, this is going to be done by x y and z together right so 72 into 85 now you use the calculator it will be easy 8 to 10 5 15 7 7 14 plus 8 22 now if we we'll try to divide so 72 into 85 so let me use the calculator here so 72 into 85 and divided by 225 it will give you 27 days around 27 days so exact is coming 27.2 days so is there any option option b will become the correct answer for this particular problem simple and easy approach right so the only thing is the data was little lengthy but once again i wanted to tell you these things right now you should not do right so if you have gone through our crash course like this lot of problems we have done right so now you should not do that now you should not do that right okay so see directly here you have written 1 by 4 in 18 days that means one work in 18 into 4 72 20 percent 1 by 5 work in 17 days so one work in 85 days 80 percent 4 by 5 4 by 5 is in 72 days 72 into 5 by 4 90 days and then you would have easily calculated with the help of calculator so what happens you see the data you get afraid and then you come back and tell sir the exam was very very tough right so you come and say that sir the exam was very very tough exam was not tough the calculation was little tricky right so there you had to use your mind and then solve the question okay now friends so here if you will try to see two trains start simultaneously from station a and b which are 300 kilometer apart very good question okay so two trains are there 300 kilometer apart two trains are there 300 kilometer apart okay now but friends this particular question now you could have solved it logically without doing calculation first let me do the calculation and then we'll we will then we will try to understand so what they're telling there is a train x is there and traveling at a speed of 60 km per hour okay that means 60 km per hour means what in one hour train x is covering 60 km distance and train b is traveling at 80 km per hour that means uh, train y so train y can cover right in one hour 80 km clear fine okay so however train a train x stops for 5 minutes of after every 20 km so friends you can say the train a is covering that 20 km distance right in the time plus 5 more minute right so basically what it is telling so train a no so he is going for 20 km here it came and then stopping for 5 minutes right okay then again it is starting again 20 km again stopping for 5 minutes okay and train y train y what it does so actually it can cover 80 km in one hour right so 40 km it is going and then again waiting for 10 minutes so basically friends here we need to calculate the effective speed because now if they are stopping seat after 20 kilometers they're stopping for five minutes again after 20 kilometers they're stopping for five minutes right so basically now the speed will not be 60 kilometer per hour because in one hour now they are going to cover less distance right so that you will have to cover okay so now first thing let us try to understand so for 20 kilometer distance right how much time they will take 
सर टाइम विल बी इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस बाय स्पीड सो डिस्टेंस इज 20 एंड स्पीड इज 3 सो फॉर 20 किलोमीटर दे विल बी टेकिंग 1 बाय 3 आवर्स करेक्ट ओके नाउ एंड दे विल स्टॉप फॉर हाउ मच टाइम 5 मिनट सर इट इज इन मिनट एंड दिस इज इन आवर सो आई विल कन्वर्ट इट टू आवर दैट मींस आई विल कन्वर्ट इनटू आवर दैट मींस दे विल बी टेकिंग 1 बाय 12 आवर्स राइट सो बेसिकली for 20 km, the time they are taking is 1 by 3 hours and then 5 minutes of the 5 minutes here, right? So, for 20 km, basically the total time they are taking is 1 by 3 and plus the time they are waiting 1 by 12. So, now 1 by 3 you can write 4 by 12. I am making the base same, right? See, 1 by 3, we can write multiply by 4 up, multiply by 4 down. Sir, why you are doing that? If you don't want to do, take the LCM and do, right? See, I don't want to take LCM and get into extra troubles, right? Okay. So, here 5 by 12. So, basically, for 20 kilometers, they are taking 5 by 12 hours, right? See, 1 by 3 hours in actual covering and 5 minutes, that means 1 by 12 hours, they are waiting, right? Okay. So, now I know, by my distance is 20 kilometer and total time which you are taking in 20 kilometer is 5 by 12 hours right okay then what will be effective speed because your effective has reduced your effective speed has reduced because you are waiting for five minutes for what reason you are waiting for five minutes right okay so now effective so every station he is waiting right so that effective speed okay now it is 20 divided by 5 12 will go up so this is 5 4 ja 48 kilometer per hour so instead of covering Instead of covering 60 km in 1 hour, you are now covering only 48 km per hour. Same thing we have to do for Y. Because they are telling, consider this stoppage, how long will it take for the two trains to meet. For the second train also, we are going to do the same thing. So, first 40 km is the distance. And, so for 40 km, how much time they will take my dear friends? Sir, 40 by 80, they will take half an hour 1 by 2 hours in 1 hour 80 kilometer so 40 kilometer is half so they will take half an hour simple okay now sir for how much time they are stopping my dear friends 10 minutes sir you tell me in hours because i cannot add hours to minute okay so 10 by 60 it is nothing but 1 by 6 hours now you tell me total time for 40 kilometer basically how much total time they are taking so 1 by 2 is the actual time and then they are waiting for 1 by 6 hours. If you take LCM or make this 6 and 6. So this will become 3 by 6. I multiplied and divided by 3 plus 1 by 6. It will be 4 by 6. 4 by 6 total hours. Total time is 4 by 6 hours for distance is 40 kilometer. So time will become, so speed effective speed will become, effective speed will become uh, distance by 40 and time 4 into 6 so it will be nothing but 60 kilometer per hour right okay so basically now my effective speed here will be 60 kilometer per hour okay and because of this stoppage and here it will be 40 kilometers per hour 48 kilometer per hour right okay fine now friends so they are telling when they will meet okay total distance is 300 kilometer okay so when they will meet what will happen right okay so friends you tell me one thing this both are going to this train came till here and this train came till here that means you can say both of them are going to cover a distance of 300 kilometer together so distance will be equal to speed both are going in a opposite direction relative speed so 60 plus 48 will be 108 and time will be t so time will be 300 divided by 108 right so friends uh, 108 into 3 108 into 3 will be what sir 324 right okay so this if you try to divide so it will be it will not go by three times it will go by two hours and something right so two hours and something and very close to three hours it will be that sir i did not understand if you did not understand then what you can do you can use your calculator right so in calculator divide 300 divided by 108 it will be 2.77 hours right that means 2 hours plus 0.77 minute okay 
सॉरी पॉइंट सेवन सेवन आवर्स राइट ओके नाउ दिस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट बिकॉज यू आर टू आवर्स एंड फोर्टी सेवन मिनट सो दिस वी नीड टू कन्वर्ट इन टू मिनट सो मल्टीप्लाई बाई सिक्स सेवेंटी सेवन इंटू सिक्स सेवेंटी सेवन इंटू सिक्स विल बी फोर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट टू सो बेसिकली फोर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट टू सो हियर टू आवर्स एंड फोर्टी सिक्स मिनट सो ऑप्शन सी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर सो दिस प्रॉब्लम वॉज वेरी गुड बट यू कैन से दैट दिस कैन नॉट बी डन राइट दिस इज अ वेरी टफ प्रॉब्लम नो इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट सो यू नीड टू प्रैक्टिस दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो मैक्सिमम टाइम स्पीड एंड डिस्टेंस दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम ओनली विल बी आस्ट ओके नाउ नाउ फ्रेंड्स वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू हियर सो आई एम गोइंग टू रिमूव ऑल दोज थिंग्स ओके फाइन नाउ गॉड एज गिवन एज अ ब्यूटिफुल माइंड टू थिंक सो लेट एस ट्राई टू थिंक एंड कंक्लूड now this is my x x train not my x okay so this is my train x okay and this is my train y okay fine then they are telling so bhaiya total distance is 300 km great okay now this train speed is 60 km per hour okay and this train speed is 80 km per hour so friends can i say that this trains right will be covering 60 km in 1 hour and 80 km in 1 hour right okay now so if they goes for 2 hours then 120 km and 160 km so they will be able to cover only 280 km now so in 2 hour what will happen friends this particular train should cover 120 km but what it will do so after every 20 km right so after every 20 km so after every 20 km it is stopping for 5 minutes 5 minutes is stopped here 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 right okay same thing this guy will do so it should cover 160 km in 2 hours so 40 80 uh, 120 160 right okay every 40 km is stopping for 10 minutes so 10 minutes and 10 minutes right because here any anyway it will stop so i am not counting right here any anyway it will stop so i am not counting so if you will see here for covering 120 km so 2 hours it used to take but now 25 minutes more it will take for this it should take 2 hours but now what it is doing so it is taking 30 minutes more so friends definitely your uh, and another remaining distance is nothing but 20 minutes so for that 20 minutes how much time it will take it will take hardly 5 10 minutes because their speed is see they are covering 60 km in 1 hour right okay so this both has to cover now 20 km together and their speed will become 60 plus 80 140 in 1 hour right so when they are going in a positive direction so if you are covering 140 in 1 hour then in half an hour 70 in 15 minutes 35 so they will be taking another 5 10 minutes maximum because at this stoppage now they are going to stop right so i will do one thing so because they still have to move so what i will do i will take here 30 and here i will take it 40 and here i will take it 40 minutes right okay so friends 2 hours 40 minutes already they have spent so this is done okay this is done okay this option is eliminated now now friends you think how much they have to cover 20 km just and for 20 km their speed now relative speed is 140 km per hour right okay so half an hour sir 70 km per hour sir 15 minutes 35 km per hour right both have to cover just 20 km so for 15 minutes it is 35 so in another 7 minute it will be 17 km per hour so they sir they will be taking another 7 minute so this 2 hours 40 minutes earlier they had taken and now plus 7 minutes so it will be 2 hours and 47 minutes so friends if you will use your mind no the problem will become simple otherwise you have to go sit down and do the calculation both is available for you it's your choice how you are going to make the problem simple or how you are going to make the problem complicated right but these are the standard of problems which you will be getting in tcs there is no compromise with that this particular question i have taken from the exam different examination okay so data interpretation is one of the topic which is going to be very very important just that you need to understand that the see the tcs problem mainly i have observed is 
the calculation part you know they will give in such a format that you will feel it is very very tough right so that mindset and that mentality you no know, i wanted you to remove it off that mindset and that mentality i want you to remove it off and then only you will be able to uh, you know do that in examination so the pie chart shows the distribution of a student studying in 12th class in different section so section wise dis distribution of a student is there ratio of boy to girl in different section is given the total number of five section so total number of a student in five section is 270 many student read that blindly started calculating so in a how many student b how many student c how many student d how many student e how many student you don't have to do it blindly how many boys are studying in section a 270 is the total number in section a 20% 20% of 270 will be 54 right they are asking how many boys are studying in section a in section a total 54 and in a boys and girls is 5 is to 4 that means total is 9 so 9 6 ja 1 is equal to 6 that means boys will become 5 into 6 it will be 30 and girls will become 4 into 6 it will be 24 right so this is how you have to solve the questions in the examination so you have to find out what is required and that calculation only you have to do right friends i am telling you very basic level of approach you have to use in tcs right many questions you won't be able to solve don't worry about it five to seven question you forget that you are not going to solve right doesn't matter the cut off will be within 10 out of 20 you have to solve maximum 50% say maximum 50% in the sense i am telling if the with the difficulty level of the problem if the problem is not that difficult you go ahead and solve more number of question right it's not like sir told 50% i will solve only 50% and tomorrow i will start if using sir ke question ki something okay fine so now next question will be Ah, so this is compound interest problem, one of the trickier problem, uh, because many student when it came, they came from examination from the TCS, then they started telling, sir, compound interest five year questions were asked. Okay, they might have asked, no problem, right? But what was that question that we will try to understand? So a man saves rupees twenty thousand at the beginning of each year and puts the money in a bank that pays ten percent interest per year. interest being compounded annually what would be the total saving of the man at the end of 6 years first understand the question because many of you will start doing sir 20000 into 1 plus 6 by 100 sorry 1 plus 10 by 100 and to the power 6 you will calculate the value and that will be wrong because what has been told in the question so there is a bank is there okay india's worst bank sbi okay so what you are doing you put 20000 rupees okay every year so a man saves rupees 20000 at the beginning of each year then again next year 20000 right okay again next year see so first year whatever 20000 you have put right and next year you are going to put 20000 so 20 plus 20 40 it's not like you have put 20000 once and after 6 years see this formula no this formula would have become correct okay this formula would have become correct if right if you put 20000 rupees in the bank and after 6 year you are going give me my money i had spent on compound interest you are not doing that what you are doing is so 20000 you put for the first year again next year you are going and putting again 20000 so 20000 was already there 20000 again so every year you are going you are putting 20000 rupees in the bank right so this is four times and this is five times and this is six time okay so six times you are putting every year till six years you are putting the money in the bank now when first time you will put right so for the six years how much interest you will get sir uh, sorry uh, in six years how much you will get sir into 1 by this is a formula so this is six years now second year when you are going second year when you are going and putting how much bank will give you 20000 into one so now it's forget about separate separate so suppose ramesh suresh mahesh dhanesh kanesh ganesh right so these are the six people every year they are going and putting money in the bank so mahesh put for mahesh put for six years ganesh 
Ganesh is putting for Ganesh is putting for five years now, and then Suresh Suresh is putting for Suresh is putting for Suresh is putting for four years. Okay, and then Ganesh. Okay, so it is putting for so twenty thousand into so twenty thousand into one plus ten by hundred to the power three. So six five four three six five four three and then two. Then this is you say Mahesh. Ganesh, Suresh, Ganesh, and here you say Dhanesh. Okay, now Dhanesh will be putting for now Dhanesh will be putting for two years because he is going in the fifth year. Okay, and then Dhanesh and here you say uh, Suresh, Mahesh, Ganesh, 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 Panesh, something Panesh you say. Okay, so now the Panesh is going to put in for only one year, only one year, right? Okay, now. This is what you have to solve. So don't get afraid by seeing the problem. First of all, twenty thousand you take common. Okay, fine. And then I will start from here. So one zero and one zero cancel. So this will be eleven by ten. Eleven by ten is one point one. Okay, plus. Here you see. So one zero one zero cancelled. Eleven by ten. So eleven by ten will be one point one. So basically this is one point one square. Then one point one cube. Then one point one to the power four, plus one to the power one five, plus one point one to the power six. Now what you do? You take this one point one common, so twenty thousand into one point one you take common. So one plus right. So everywhere uh, one will become less. Okay. So everywhere because one you have taken common. So now it will go till. So now it will go till. uh it will go till 5 okay fine this if you'll solve this decimals will remove this so 22000 22000 and this one friends so this is nothing but in geometric progression geometric progression where first term is a and the common ratio is nothing but 1.1 so geometric progression formula is a into R to the power n minus one divided by R minus one, right? Okay. So here it will become twenty thousand. So how many terms? Five terms are there now. So one point one to the power five minus one divided by so one point one one point one minus one. It will be nothing but point one. Now if you will remove this, okay, one more zero. So this is twenty two thousand. so one more zero will go up and then so basically now 22 and 1 2 3 4 into 1.15 times you have to calculate calculator 1.5 into sorry 1.1 into 1.1 into 1.1 into 1.1 into 1.1 so it will be 1.6 something minus 1 will be equal to 0.61 Okay, I'm sorry. So it is. It will be six terms. So it will be six terms. So here it will be six. I'm sorry because one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Total six terms are there. So one point one into one point one into one point one is equals to one point three three one and one point three three one. So it will be one point seven seven one five six one. And this I am going to. Multiply with twenty-two, one, two, three, four zeros. Oh my God! So, okay, minus one. So minus one, if you'll do right, so it will be basically twenty-two, two lakhs twenty thousand into point seven seven one five six one. So point seven seven, okay, one five six one into. Twenty two one two three four sixteen ninety seven so sixteen ninety seven it is coming around this right so this will become your correct answer so option B becomes your correct answer this was a good question see the one reason I have taken the very good problem for today no so in one question you try to understand many things right so in one question. you try to understand many things like geometric progression right like the concept of compound interest so in one problem i want you to understand many things so instead of doing 
टू थ्री सिंपल प्रॉब्लम्स सो वन गुड प्रॉब्लम्स वी हैव टेकन ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ए वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन इन इट सेल्फ राइट सो वी हैव क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन सो ए क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन वी हैव एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो वेन यू आर हैंडलिंग क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इन द एग्जाम लाइक टी सी एस देन द फर्स्ट थिंग वॉट यू डू इज सो दे आर रूट्स यू कैलकुलेट सो सम ऑफ रूट्स विल बी माइनस बी बाई ए एंड देर मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ रूट विल बी सी बाई ए सो ए इज वन सी इज सी एंड बी इज माइनस बी देन दे आर टेलिंग इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द रेसी प्रोकल ऑफ द रूट्स सो इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन रेसी प्रोकल ऑफ द रूट्स इज वन बाई थ्री एंड द सम ऑफ रेसी प्रोकल सम ऑफ रेसी प्रोकल ऑफ द स्क्वायर्स ऑफ द स्क्वायर्स ऑफ द रूट इज नथिंग बट फाइव बाई नाइन सो इन क्वालिटी इक्वेशन वॉट एवर द थिंग्स आर गिवेन नो फ्रॉम हियर ओनली यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट समथिंग नाउ यू कुड सी वन बाई अल्फा स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाई बीटा स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाई नाइन सो दिस पर्टिकुलर इक्वेशन यू मेक इट स्क्वायर सो ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस एंड हियर इट विल बिकम माइनस टू अल्फा बीटा सो टू ए बी इज इक्वल्स टू वन बाई नाइन सो वॉट आई डिड आई डिड ए स्क्वायर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर इक्वेशन वन सो दिस इज दिस हैज बिन ऑलरेडी गिवन फाइव बाई नाइन फाइव बाई नाइन दिस गाई विल कम हियर वन बाई नाइन विल बी इक्वल टू टू बाई अल्फा बीटा सो नाउ फोर बाई नाइन विल बी इक्वल टू अल्फा बीटा सॉरी वन बाई अल्फा बीटा दिस इज टू बाई अल्फा बीटा सो टू टू जा सो अल्फा बीटा इज नथिंग बट इक्वल टू सी सी इज नथिंग बट नाइन बाई टू सो द वैल्यू ऑफ सी इज नथिंग बट नाइन बाई टू राइट सो द वैल्यू ऑफ सी इज नथिंग बट नाइन बाई टू क्लियर ओके ओके नाउ आफ्टर दिस वॉट वी विल डू ओके so they are telling find the possible values of b plus c c we got b how we will get so okay now let us take this and try to solve so if we'll take lcm it will be alpha square beta square and then it will be alpha square plus beta square is equals to 5 by 9 then this alpha beta is 9 by 2 so alpha square plus beta square and then this is 5 by 9 Into alpha square beta square, nine by two square will be eighty one by four. Nine nine ja, so it will be forty five divided by four. Forty five divided by four. Okay, fine. Okay, now what we can do? Now, so basically alpha beta is given and alpha plus beta is given. So what I will do? Can I write this alpha square plus beta square and uh, plus 2 alpha beta and this side also al 50 45 plus 4 plus 2 alpha beta so what will happen so what will happen here basically so this will become alpha plus beta square alpha plus beta is nothing but minus b so this will become b square right so this is basically this is nothing but alpha plus beta square right okay alpha plus beta is minus b so this is minus b square will be equal to 45 by 4 and 2 into alpha beta alpha beta is 9 by 2 so 2 into 9 by 2 hmm so 2 and 2 cancelled so b square will be equal to 4 nine ja 36 so it will be 81 by 4 so b will be plus 9 by 2 and minus 9 by 2 the value of b we got now we have to find out b plus c right okay so if you will take mm -hmm. so friends definitely c is 9 by 2 and b will be equal to what so okay so definitely the value of b you will have to take 9 by 2 then only you will be getting the largest possible value and c will be equal to 9 by 2 so it will be 9 so the largest possible value will be 9 option c will be the correct answer so friends uh, this was all about today's class maybe you would have understood 
the level of the TCS problem from easy to difficult level of the problem. So you have to practice that kind of question. I will not do simple problem so that you, you know, you become happy now, like subscribe, everything, sharing the videos will happen. And after the exam, you will start abusing me. If we have given result or if we are going to give the result, the only reason is we are honestly working. So mock test is very much required. Daily one video which will be put in the class is very much required. Get into TCS NQT crash course and make sure that this year 2025 TCS NQT you will be the one getting selected in digital and prime. And now we are going to Rimji ma'am is going to tell you the TCS NQT coding cheat sheet that will help you a lot to understand what kind of questions you should prepare for your coding uh, for TCS NQT coding. Thank you. Take care. And let's start with the coding cheat sheet by Rimchim ma'am. Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel online study for you, a complete placement solution. So today we are going to dive deep into some of the most crucial TCS NQT exam topics. I have preparation seat here that is packed with the selected questions based on latest patterns from previous TCS NQT exams. And I want to share some important tips and insights based on 2024 exam pattern to help you perform your best. So let's talk about the coding section. In 2024, there were two coding questions and you will have 90 minute time duration to solve these two coding questions. Now, the catch here is that you can't see the second question until you have submitted the first one. So to work on the second question, you have to submit the first coding questions. And then only you can work on the second coding question. Now, here is something else to keep in mind, which I'm not 100% sure, but many students have mentioned that once you move on the second question, you can go back and view the first question, but you won't be able to make any changes to the first one or resubmit it. So, to be completely sure about it, before the exam start, you will be able to see instruction on the screens like the pattern and the marking scheme. Make sure to read them carefully. One common issue that students face is getting stuck on the very first question. For example, if you are having trouble with the input handling or you have any issue that is not letting you to solve that first question, you might spend too much time trying to solve it. Some students later realize that the second question was easier and they could have solved it if only that they had managed their time better. So keep an eye on the clock and balance your time wisely between the questions. Moving on to the next point, you will have to prepare yourself to write the code from scratch, including all the necessary header files. For example, in C++, we need to include these header files at the beginning of your code. Another problem students have faced with the TCS interface is not knowing how to view the expected output for their code. After writing and running your code, you will see your output, but not the expected output. To find it, look for a small arrow near the question that will be near the question Click on it and you will be able to see the expected output. Lastly, in coding section, one more thing that I'll want to discuss is some question might look complex and make you think that they require concepts like dynamic programming or graphs. Don't overthink at start. Your first aim should be to pass the test cases. If you can solve the problem with the brute force and all the test cases passes, then go for it. If you have time left, then only you can optimize your solution. Remember what matters most is to pass all the test cases. Moving on to the numerical ability and verbal ability section. In this section, you can switch between questions within the same section, but you can't switch between different section. Your goal should be to solve as many as question possible in the least amount of time. Suppose you find a question for which you know the method, but you know that it will require a lengthy calculation. 
then mark that question and move on to the different question of the same section in which you know that it will take less time after finishing the easier one you can return back to the mark question now let's move to our preparation sheet so if you will see 2024 exam patterns for tcs and qt arrays strings and some mathematical questions are the key focus area last year they asked questions like matrix modifications where we have been given a square matrix of n cross n and we have to modify matrix in a way that all elements below the main diagonals are set to zero this year you might encounter similar question with with a little twist like setting elements in the upper matrix to zero or any questions like uh, given m cross n matrix and if an element is zero set its entire row or entire column to a zero or similar type of questions so after doing analysis of all previous year papers here is a breakdown of question types that you should prepare for these include number system question which is the mathematical question they covered a range of topics such as factorial power calculation fibonacci series in 2024 there was a question based on fibonacci series in which you have to calculate the sum of n terms in series and these set cover question on the basis of different arithmetic operations such as question based on divisibility that was asked in 2024 where you have been given a number and you have to check whether that number is divisible by 9 or not question based on armstrong number where you have to return true if it is an armstrong number otherwise return false so these are the question based on mathematicals moving on to the next section that is the array and string the array section include questions like cadence algorithm which was asked in 2024 finding second largest element and other array related problems like find majority elements that appeared more than n by 3 times or n by 2 times this was also asked in 2024 sifts there are also questions like uh, find the second largest elements find number of good pairs find maximum subarray problem so here are the question based on arrays and strings pay attention to common string manipulations problems and practice writing efficient code for them like reverse a string reverse a word is a string find number of time a character appeared in the string calculate the frequency of character in a string palindrome longest common prefix so these are some questions based on string manipulations now let's move to the next section that is sorting these include questions like selection sort bubble sort insertion sort merge sort quick sort there was question in 2024 where there were given an array balls containing numbers and you had to sort the array in place so these were also question asked in 2024 now let's move to the another section that is searching this include questions like linear search binary search In twenty twenty four, there was question based on seal and flow. So there is one question included here, which include the concept of seal and flow. Another question like find peak elements. Here are some extra topics that are not so popular in exams, but being well prepared for all areas is essential. So once you have mastered arrays, strings, searching, sorting, number system. make sure to review linguist questions stack and queue has map as well so these topics are included in this extra topic you will find this sheet in the description below so don't forget to check it out to enhance your preparation consider checking out the ped tcs and qt crash course by online study for you this course is fully updated according to the latest tcs exam pattern it include you can see here in the content section it include a lot of live classes that are conducted daily what's really special about this course is that it already have included the question that was asked in tcs 2024 and qt exam you can here see in the content section so whether you are preparing in c++ or you are preparing here in java you can see here is the java video so whether you are preparing in c++ or you are preparing java this course has covered both the languages plus this course include videos for aptitude reasoning even for the 
verbal ability here you can see this course also include a lot of programming question that will help you in preparing for TCS and QD. You can find the link to the course in the description below. So don't forget to check it out. That's all for today's video. I hope you find these tips helpful for your TCS and QD preparation. Best of luck for your exams and I'll see you soon in the next video. Till then, bye.